the MTM case guard ACR 8 and ACR 5 I did a video on the bottom one that's the uh, ACR 8 um, I can't remember it was, wasn't too long ago I got it for Christmas and I really liked it and uh, I went and bought the ACR 5 and uh, I think I like it better um, you can't put as much in it obviously but when you fill it up it's not near as heavy either this is going to be a little bit more in depth from the last one I wasn't happy with the last one really um, the bigger case which is the I said the ACR 8 the interior dimensions on that are 14 inches wide 13 and a half inches deep and seven and one quarter inches high the ACR 5 which is the one on top is 14 inches wide 13 and a half inches deep and only four and a half inches high um, I guess I should let y'all know that uh, I do not work for MTM case guard they're not paying me they didn't supply these the bottom, the big one, was the uh, it was a Christmas gift, and the uh, top one uh, I bought myself. I got them both at Amazon. Um, currently on Amazon, the ACR8 is uh, twenty dollars, and the ACR5 is uh, seventeen dollars. Both of them will carry uh, up to eighty-five pounds. And both have a water resistant o-ring seal that helps keep moisture and dust out but they are non submersible so if you throw them in the creek your stuff's gonna get wet so as you can see you got the rails on the bottom and the notches in the top and that's how they lock together and then they stack and they're pretty they're pretty sturdy that way you see the o-ring in there the, the o-ring will mash against there's a little raised lip right here that goes up there and is supposed to make contact with the o-ring it's got these uh, latches on each side They lock pretty securely. And they've got these, these little holes in, uh, for between the lid and the, and the base to lock them or put zip ties in case you have to move them. And of course the handles On the sides make it a lot easier to move like I said the, this one here is quite a bit uh, easier to move around when it's full than the than the the full size one okay uh, one idea that I have for this that I I didn't think of at first was I think I'm gonna get some of that foam uh, from Amazon that you can uh, cut uh, and I think I'm going to try to put a, a layer down in the bottom and then two layers on top of that and then cut out for like electronics like my camera, my camera equipment, um, my batteries, my little uh, cell phone chargers and stuff like that, um, all that kind of stuff and uh, put them in here. And I'll put a, uh, some foam on the bottom, then two layers of foam and cut out for, to hold the, the equipment, and then put another layer of foam on top, and then close this sucker up. And I think it'll protect all my camera gear. It'd be a lot better than that, uh, those old cheap nylon bags I got. Um, I also thought about the big one. I thought about taking in, uh, you know, I got supplies in my, my Jeep. I, I thought about uh, 
rolling a blanket up and putting first aid kit and road flares and, and that cut type of stuff in the in the big one and putting it behind the seat or in the back or whatever and that'd be a good way to to have your uh, emergency kit for your vehicle and it keep everything pretty well protected you know if you got if you put it behind the seat of your truck i don't know about y'all but mine gets pretty crowded and bangs around in there but to keep things from getting punctured and nasty from just mud and whatever else that's in, the, in my truck uh I put it in this case and slide this case back there behind the seat um of course ammo just whatever whatever you want to put in them you can put in them i i like i said i, I like this thin one for for ammo or anything that's heavy because uh filling up one of these big ones it gets pretty uh gets pretty hard to move it especially if you're going to go any kind of distance um and if you if you got to go in a hurry you uh you don't want to have to you don't break your back trying to move a bunch of these things if they're too heavy one other, one other thing i wanted to show y'all was uh these handles the way they're formed and all there's little drain holes in each side of these uh, the handle here so that if it does a rain in on it or whatever else or something gets spilled that it'll drain out of the handle and the handle won't hold the fluids and the there's a shot of the hinges they're just plastic but they they're pretty strong i don't know if they would hold up to too much abuse if the lid was open flopping around or what have you but i think they're pretty adequate so there you have it the mtm case guard ammo crate utility box I have several now, and uh, I think I'm going to buy some more as soon as I can talk my old lady into it. And I guess that's about it.